I'm Jim, and I was retired. When I began this unexpected retirement seven years ago, I knew I had to make it a DIY retirement. I didn't have enough money for an AUM fee, so I looked everywhere for a TurboTax for financial planning. I first began using Steve Chen's new retirement in 2019, and I even paid for its Planner Plus level while the tools and trainings were still being created. I was excited about the prospect of a financial planner in a box, and sometimes, though, I felt like a pioneer. In the past few weeks, I've been reacquainting myself with this tool. It has steadily grown into a powerful planning tool. So in this episode, I'll share why I think new retirement is a financial plan in a box. Stay tuned. Hazy skies in most of the Northeast because of those Canadian fires will keep me indoors for this week's video. I'll get back to finding sunny spots in South Jersey in my next video. I want to give a shout out to Ron Loftus who correctly identified that last week's video was recorded in Pennsville, New Jersey, south of the Delaware Memorial Bridge. I found a neat little Riverview Beach Park down there, and that's where I recorded it. Now, to today's subject, I'm looking at online alternatives to my DIY retirement withdrawal strategy spreadsheet. I gave you my thoughts for Empower Personal Capital last week, and this week I will look at newretirement.com. Now, I'm not an affiliate planner. I'm not being paid for this review. So take these as entertaining ideas from one educated consumer to another. And I have to say, it is an entirely different approach from personal capital. There is a free basic version, but I think the $120 for Planner Plus is a fair price when you consider that it's only a little bit more than I pay for TurboTax home and business to do my taxes each year. It is financial planning in a box for an annual subscription, and I think it may be ready for the masses who need this help. Now, I'm going to walk you through some of the screen grabs from my own new retirement account. And in some ways, it's similar to Personal Capital's Retirement Planner. It begins with this overview with a success ratio. But there are a lot more factors built into this plan, and you have a lot more control over what goes into the planning process. Lower on the first page, you will see an average income and expenses bar chart. It also has a projected net worth, which includes your retirement savings and real estate that would be left to the heirs at the end of the plan. You begin by linking or manually telling the planner about your accounts and assets, beginning with your tax-advantaged accounts, and that includes both tax-deferred and tax-free Roth accounts. It also handles 529 plans or HSAs. I don't have either of those, but it also handles brokerage and savings accounts as well. For each account, you can connect through Plaid, a state-of-the-art platform for sharing financial data, or enter the information manually yourself if a plan administrator, broker, or banker does not connect easily. You will provide an optimistic and pessimistic rate of return for each account, either using your own historical returns or some other conservative estimate, and there are a lot of different ways of doing that. If you're still contributing to a, a tax advantage plan, well, number one, you'd have to go back up and enter your work income above and then a contribution rate here. But that's not me. I was retired, have you heard? And when you hover over a given year, like 2033 here, it will show you how much is projected for that year in the plan. So it breaks down all of the withdrawals, RMDs, etc. Now, notice the video and book icons in the corner of that chart? Well, click on the movie and Michelle Dash at New Retirement will walk you through a tutorial written by Nancy Gates, who has her own blog post. And if you click on the book, you go there. 
to a, a blog post by Nancy Gates to describe that particular part of the plan. Now, the training and documentation is really what distinguishes this product. It's very well done. Under income, you will add your Social Security benefits, including spousal benefits, and this tool allows you to set a year and month that you expect to receive benefits. Passive income would be dividend income or rental income, whatever you expect in your retirement. And then you'll add pensions, annuities, and any windfalls. Now, under pensions, you can enter either a lump sum pension or a monthly pension with or without a cost of living adjustment. Now, I should stop and explain here about those four pensions. I really only have two main pensions, one with a COLA and one without. I have a third very small pension without a COLA that is the result of a class action lawsuit brought against a former employer's retirement plan. And I was included in the class action and, and get a, a little, little tiny monthly stipend. The fourth pension that I've entered here is a lump sum pension that I entered to get around a quirk I found in this. When you enter your pension, if you're mid-year, it'll say, if you're already receiving the pension, enter the current month. You can't give it a real month and year that the pension started. Well, for 2023, that misses like three or four months of pension income. So I resolved that with a lump sum pension for that amount to arrive this current month. Under assumptions, you get to choose whether you want to use optimistic or pessimistic plans in the whole plan. And above that corner, you can quickly toggle between the two or leave it in the middle for an average assumption. For expenses, you can also use a basic budget or with Planner Plus, a more detailed budget that includes must spend and want to spend categories. If you want details on all of the assumptions in the software, you just go and look it up. It's very well documented starting with this page here. In addition to the documentation, the software has a digital coach which will walk you through the planning process and offer you suggestions when you come back and look. It also includes a checklist to show you the progress of your planning. It goes up through a pretty comprehensive list to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Now, if you want a personal coaching through the plan that's available for a price, a one-on-one -on -one coach that will guide you through developing the plan. And if you want a CFP planner, the membership in Planner Plus includes an affordable advice-only fee planner. One of the latest enhancements to the software is a Roth Conversion Explorer that allows you to experiment with Roth conversions, solving for one of three end results. My focus is the lowest lifetime tax liability within reason. Again, the assumptions are all well documented, including why I couldn't get it to model a 2023 Roth conversion. See that bottom bullet there? There is another engine on the site that allows you to model 2023 Roth conversions. And I'll show you that here. You begin by entering the gross income and then it will suggest amounts up to the next target tax bracket. Or if you want to go to the limit that will help avoid IRMA, the income related monthly adjustment amounts for Medicare premiums, you could go to there. I'm glad they included that. Um, I will add that you need to go back in and enter those Roth conversions yourself in the plan under money flows manually. There is no one click implementation yet. And I will say the Planner Plus also includes the ability to create scenarios, including the ability to compare scenarios. So if you want to model Roth conversions, make a new scenario of your basic plan and then compare the results. When I began looking at Stephen Chen's new retirement in 2019, I thought it was an interesting startup. And I decided to invest the annual fee, sort of like a Kickstarter contribution. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I was glad to get in. 
And I do remember sending messages along about how I was uh, working with the Social Security benefits until they fleshed out that engine and how RMDs are treated, uh, particularly after the secure laws began to change the rules. The team does a very good job of listening to your comments in the chat and responding. And if, so if you see something as you use it, say something and a member of the tech team will get back to you with an answer. I should note that I am not receiving any payment from New Retirement for this review. I'm just glad to personally recommend this great financial plan in a box. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you like entertaining ideas from a DIY retiree. I will conclude with my standard warning. I am not a professional planner. I have no initials after my name. So take these as entertaining ideas from one educated consumer to another. Always do your own due diligence and seek out a professional if you need one. See ya.